I'm here with Matthew, who goes to George T. Marshall's High School in Falls Church, Virginia, and runs kind of the food initiative at your school on the conservation standpoint. Tell us more about that. So in the fall, my friend Gareth and I, um, we started a food and hunger task force. Um, and so the idea is that environmental clubs don't always have that much support. Unfortunately, they don't really have that high attendance. We have a recycling team that, that helps out with the recycling. They help the custodians do the recycling on Tuesdays. Um, and so the idea is to create a task force. All the clubs, all the major clubs, um, service-oriented clubs and honor societies in the school to get them to uh, make a difference. So in the fall, our first initiative was we tracked uh, food waste by class. And we found that the freshmen were the most wasteful class and we had 100 pounds in total food waste um, in the school. And we only had 60% of the student population present. And so that was a huge figure. And so then with that baseline survey, then we started implementing initiatives to reduce that number. And so one of our major things that um, I started was the share table. And so how the share table works is you put a table, I put a table every morning, I set it up in front of the trash cans. We have um, volunteers from National Honor Society, Social Studies Honor Society, um, Key Club, Octagon Club, which is affiliated with Optimist International. All of them, they volunteer um, throughout the lunches and they staff the table. And basically, uneaten produce, unpackaged um, food of any kind, you can put, um, or packaged food of any kind, uneaten produce, you can put on the table, and then other students can take that food, and then whatever's left over, we donate to a teen shelter called uh, Second Story, which is like, a, they provide a refuge um, for students after school, particularly in um, areas that have heavy gangs, um, such as Herndon. That's where their main center is, but they have centers throughout. Um, like Northern Virginia area. Wow, so you're not only working to reduce the waste in your school, but also to change habits of the students. Mm -hmm. How much right. waste have you noticed reduced? Have you noticed a reduction? Mm -hmm. Yes, so we have recovered 100 pounds of food so far with the share table. We have students weigh it at the end of every day. And then the PTA, we partner with the PTA who picks it up um, on Thursdays. And we did a, another waste assessment not just food waste, but all waste in uh, the spring, a waste audit similar to what we did today. Um, and so we tracked recyclables and like specific figures, like amount of trays and that kind of thing. And then like landfill and food waste, and we weighed all of it. And we haven't gotten the figures back for attendance, but we had 70 pounds of food waste as opposed to the 100 pounds that we had in the fall. Wow. So with more students in attendance, um, we had a 30% reduction of, of food waste, which it's pretty encouraging because we just started, you know. That's really remarkable. That's a that's a huge deduct reduction. So of all the issues, of all the conservation tactics that you can take, why food? Why is food the most important to you? Well, I think that everything kind of comes back to food. Like with the Plastics Hubs, for example, um, they organize this event and a lot of the plastic waste comes with food, with takeout orders, with buying food at the grocery store. It's covered in plastic. It's covered in things that aren't recyclable. And so... I think that if you start with food sustainability, then that addresses a lot of other issues. How do you feel walking away from an event like today when you're among your peers, everyone's doing all this really great work and you have you know, the whole future ahead of you and it's um, partly optimistic and partly bleak. Like, How do you feel? What do you go home with today? I mean, I feel really encouraged because I feel like the, the main narrative with the, with the environment is that like we're all going to die anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And seeing what everyone is doing here today makes me feel really happy and, and optimistic about what we can do. Thank you so much today. Thank you. Thank yeah. you.